In the start of May 2022, a British resident presented to hospital in UK with smallpox slash monkeypox like symptoms. Well, I'm not really sure of exact symptoms, but one of the symptoms, one of the signs rather, was the typical smallpox or monkeypox like rash. Later we will see that the symptoms of smallpox and monkeypox are quite similar and it is almost uh, impossible to clinically distinguish between the two diseases. This patient had the history of travel to Nigeria where the monkeypox is endemic. By endemic I mean it is regularly found among the particular people in that certain area. So after traveling to Nigeria, he remained there for a few days and then he got back into UK. So it was suspected that he might have contracted the monkeypox virus from Nigeria. The diagnosis of monkeypox was established in this patient by rare and imported pathogens laboratory of UK via the PCR test. As the name indicates, this laboratory is specialized in diagnosis of rare and imported pathogens and of course the monkeypox is one of them. Depending upon the history of patient and of course that includes the travel history as well, they run a number of tests on the specimens of the patient and ultimately they are able to diagnose the rare pathogens that the routine laboratories are not able to do so. This specific case marks as an index case of monkeypox in UK. After the mid of May onwards, several cases of monkeypox were reported in different countries across the world. In accordance with the niche of this channel, I won't be telling you the number of cases and nor I will be telling you the news aspect of this outbreak. My aim is to educate you about the scientific aspects of monkeypox virus and this disease and for the news aspect you can of course check the media outlets for that. Hello I am Dr. Azaz from MedicalVisual.com. Welcome to this visual lecture. Both smallpox and monkeypox viruses belong to a same family of viruses called pox viridae. It is named so because they form specific pox marks. By pox marks, I mean the typical pitted scar marks on the skin. The viruses belonging to this family pox viridae cause disease in vertebrates as well as insects. The subfamily that causes disease in vertebrates is called chordopox viruses. Chordo means chordates. So chordates are the vertebrates. So the subfamily that causes disease in vertebrates is called chordopox viruses. It is further subdivided into several genera. One of them is orthopox viruses. Some of the important species of this genus Orthopox viruses are monkeypox, smallpox, cowpox, and vaccinia virus. All these are very similar structurally as well as clinically and it is hard to differentiate between them without genetic testing like PCR. The smallpox virus has no animal reservoir. However, monkeypox has animal reservoirs like squirrels and other rodents. Actually, the term monkeypox is a misnomer. Monkeys are not considered as a major reservoir of this virus. However, it is named so because it was first found in laboratory monkeys in 1958. Now, the monkeypox is not a new disease, nor this virus monkeypox. It is not a new virus unlike COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2 was a new virus but this is not a new virus. Monkeypox virus has been known for decades. It is closely related to smallpox virus which was eradicated in 1980. Monkeypox is endemic in some African countries. And the monkeypox disease is almost indistinguishable clinically from the smallpox disease but it is typically much less fatal and much less contagious as compared to smallpox disease. So we know this virus already, it is already endemic in African countries but why are we suddenly concerned about monkeypox virus? 
let me explain you the reason for this. Historically, monkeypox has been transmitted to humans via the animal reservoirs. I mean through the handling of animals and their meat. So human to human transmission of this virus is relatively rare, although it has been noticed but it is not very common. But now the concern is that we are seeing a surge in cases among the people who do not have a travel history to endemic countries, nor they have any history of handling animals or animal meat. This is concerning because there is a possibility that the virus might have gotten some mutations that might have increased the ability of this virus to cause human to human transmission which is typically rare. Now the thing is that this is a DNA virus and mutations in DNA viruses are relatively rare as compared to RNA viruses like coronavirus. But still, it is a possibility. Now, how likely it is that this monkeypox virus outbreak might become a full-blown pandemic? Well, to me, it is less likely, but it is actually a possibility. 